Hi there, this is David from Write On Resources and this video has been made to help you understand language and word class in English. So this video has been designed for anyone that's studying either functional skills or GCSE English and you want to understand the key terms needed for success in English. So this will help you about identifying key techniques and also commenting on the effect that they have on the reader as well. So what are they and why do we need to know them? So whenever I talk about language, I'm referring to language techniques. So these are the specific methods that are used by writers to help convey their message to the reader. So if you've done other lessons in English, if you've watched any of our other videos, you might have came across things like Go Massive or DeForest techniques. So these are some of the main techniques that you need to know when completing a piece of writing or when analysing another piece of writing yourself as well. If you're not too sure about these at the moment, then have a look at some of the videos in our channel that go into these in a little bit more detail. Next we have word class. So these are words that have the same basic behaviour. The four main types of word class are nouns, adjectives, verbs, and finally adverbs. So these are very important when it comes to actually analyse our writing and to understand the impact and the meaning behind the words that are chosen by the writer. How do they help us? Having a good understanding of language techniques and word class helps us in two different aspects of English. So whenever you're completing an assessment within English, it can be broken down into two simple components, analysis and writing. So first of all, whenever you're analysing a piece of writing, you'll be expected to identify language techniques and word class, comment on the effect of words and phrases, and evaluate the impact of the writer's methods. When you're writing, so creating a piece of writing yourself, you'll be expected to use a variety of language techniques to engage, inform, advise, or persuade the reader, use appropriate adjectives or adverbs to make your writing engaging, and demonstrate the ability to make appropriate lexical choices. And whenever we say that, we just mean choosing the right words or phrases to match the correct situation that you're trying to describe or convey to your audience. Now we're going to go through the four main types of word class. So it might be useful or important to make some notes on the four main types. The first one we're going to look at is verbs. So a verb is a doing word. Verbs have traditionally been defined as words that show an action or a state of being. An example of this is Words like run, jump, hear, listen, see, look, taste, laugh and shout. Verbs are often coupled with another word class called adverbs. So this is the word that describes a doing word in more detail. So very simply, an adverb describes how a verb is carried out. So adverbs add more information to verbs and help us understand the way that the verb actually happens. A few examples there for you. So he laughed loudly. Again, laughed would be the verb. The adverb would be loudly. And this is normally indicated as well with our y at the end. It isn't always the case that words that end in our y are adverbs. But generally speaking, most words that end in our y are going to be adverbs. So we have he laughed loudly. He walked quickly and he yawned widely. Now we're going to move on and have a look at nouns. Now nouns are extremely important. Essentially a noun is what we call a person, a place or a thing. However, when we get more technical and we start to add to our analysis, there are three more types of nouns that we need to be aware of. So the first one is a proper noun. So this is arguably the one that you probably are more aware of. So it's a name of a place, a person or a business. So, for example, Harry again is a typical noun, uh, a name. Netflix is the name of a business. And then Bristol is, of course, a name of a location. Next, we have a concrete noun. And as this name would suggest, something that's concrete is something that's physically there. So a concrete noun are things you can actually touch. So things like a chair house, a pen, things you can actually grasp and get a hold of and know that it's physically there. The opposite then of this are what we call abstract nouns. So these are names of something that you can't physically touch. So things like love and friendship, things that aren't really there 
in terms of the visual sense, but things that we still know are there all the more, even though we can't physically see them. These are also coupled with adjectives. Now, adjectives are used to describe a noun. Arguably, they're the most important part of the sentence because they really add all of that description that we need to know. A few examples of adjectives are there below, so you can see a few of things like happy, sad. We even have noisy, nice, blue, red. All of these are helping to describe a noun. Okay, so a noun and an adjective kind of go together in this sense as well. Now that we've gained a good understanding of different forms of word class, what I'd like you to do is have a look at the words on the left hand side. And I'd like you to think about the main four word classes that we've just went through. So again, we have verbs, adverbs, nouns and adjectives. I'd like you to have a look at the words on the left hand side. I'd like you to organise them into the correct word class. This is a really important activity and really helpful in terms of being able to identify word class and speak about it in a confident manner. If you'd like to pause the video now and take a little bit of time to figure it out, please feel free to do so. I'm going to go ahead and look at the answers on the next part. Class feedback. Check your answers against the ones in the table below. So as you can see there, we've got our four different columns. We've got verbs, adverbs, nouns and adjectives. There are four main types of word class. And for verbs, we have watch, binge and strike. Adverbs, we have slowly, gradually and quickly. And for nouns, we have commentary, Netflix, Sam. And adjectives, we have engaging, thrilling and funny. So very simply, just to recap, verbs are action words, so doing words. Adverbs, generally, we can tell an adverb by how it ends with words like slowly, gradually and quickly, all of them ending in our Y. That isn't the case with every single word. However, simple rule to remember is that adverbs are used to add to the verb and tell us how something is done. Names can be a bit trickier. As we went through on the previous slide, there's several different types of names. So essentially it is the name of a person, place or thing. And adjectives actually help to describe a noun. All of these are extremely important and will be things that you'll be expected to comment on, not just at functional skills, but also in GCSE level as well. If you'd like to build on this knowledge or test your understanding, a good idea would be to check out the other video that we have called English Language Question 2, as indicated by the image here we have on the left hand side. This will help broaden and deepen your knowledge of some of the really important language techniques and also help you get more prepared for the GCSE exams as well. If you need any additional support or help, then please give us a like, subscribe and give us a comment and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Alternatively, you can visit our partner channel Bookworm Teaching for more lessons and guidance on all things English. Thanks ever so much guys and all the best with all your future work and revision.